We'll be using some cosmological models from Descartes to Lothamé to Copernicus and to Tycho Brahe. Um, um, welcome to the show. Today we're going to be using the camera and in daylight instead of at night. We we'll watch the stars and we'll make some observations in the day and night. So we're going to go through gamma force fields. Delta gradient and light velocity and universal anti-gravity. And now we're going to do that. We'll, we'll be moving in a car. We'll be watching some clouds. And we'll be observing water and H2O. So hopefully. And hopefully we'll get some type 1, 2, 3, 4 H2O technology data. And we'll be using our faithful companion, the uh, astronomy book. So while we're observing, we make standard cosmological models. We'll be working from there. <coughs> so we'll be using this car, uh, just like a usual car. So they aren't any usual, they all look different. This one does you know, 130. So we'll be driving it long at some velocity close to that. Uh, 30, 30 kilometers an hour. And you can see some of the gamma force field moving faster on the curvature. So um, to define the uh, mean velocity at 60 kilometers an hour. Basically, we have a horizon. What's happening is the curvature of velocity. So if we add together 60 plus 30, that's about 90, and we divide it by the mean, which is about 45 kilometers per hour. What we get then is a 45 kilometer per hour degree in relation to the horizon. For background, we have uh, windmills. We're inputting a gamma function into the horizon, and we're going to observe what happens as a force field. Uh, basically, the uh, the windmills uh, were breaking up to a delta divided by s. Now we'll be observing some clouds and the basis of a drop velocity and the horizon. So you can see, basically there is a C interval on what the gamma is in motion every vertice point. So what we have now is um, some basis in the background. We'll be using some cosmological models from Descartes to Lothamé to Copernicus and to Tycho Brahe. Uh, uh, we'll continue to observing velocity and what accounts for it, uh, stillness and a type delta function of the clouds and some basic point uh, cosmological basis uh, to relate around that and uh, why <coughs> a type of cosmological constant and uh, we are observing water in relation to this in the next stage <coughs> okay so we're observing water 
and we want to know why it just is the way it is and why it has so many applications that sound totally weird uh, because basically it has kind of four so have some data on water uh, basic horizon and spread uh, basically, uh, on the basis of bracket on water, going to three to threes from seven seven epsilons, I guess this is kind of a proof that it's three plus three plus six, you know, seven plus seven is four. We'll be using some cosmological models from Descartes, Pilotomet, Copernicus, and to Tycho Brahe.